News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman, 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Before you go to Tommy for the morning market kickoff, we're looking at this last day of July. The Dow futures are up 98 at 41,098. Just a really nice couple of green candles going right up to that trend line resistance. And we're looking at the S&P. This is the futures I'm going to go to. The S&P futures are up 69, almost 70 points at 55, 41.75. That is really optimistic for the Fed speed coming up. We'll see what's going to happen after 2.30 this afternoon. We're looking at the um, Russell, too. Uh, no, you've got the N NQ. This is a NASDAQ up 412 at 19,348. Also really optimistic. Uh, it was acting very poorly for the last uh, two and a half weeks. Well, it's um, acting well today. We'll see if that can last. You're looking at the RTY which is the Russell 2000, which has really been leading the market to a certain extent over the last couple of weeks. Sort of, okay today, up nine at 22.68, near the highs, the recent highs, but uh, not breaking out at all. Looking at the gold, gold is up um, 13 at 24.65. We'll see what happens after Fed speak today. But right now it's holding very nicely. The night period moving has crossed positive, but you have to wait for the end of the day because it's a daily chart. Looking at silver, silver is up um, 25 cents at 28.75 uh, in the um, continuous contract. Coming off the 200 period moving average, high grade copper had a really nice move earlier on. It's still holding well. It's up uh, 0.08. At four point uh, is at four point sixteen. Yes, four point sixteen. And let's go to the um, go to bonds. Uh, bonds are ooh, up twenty one thirty seconds at one hundred twenty and twenty six thirty seconds. I want to see the t the bonds go even high. I want to see them up in the one twenty one and a half, one twenty two area by the end of the the day, if the, whatever the Fed says. And that's the TLT is trading at ninety four forty six. Up uh, 62. If it can go up about a point and a half from here, that's over the next two days. That's really good. I don't want to see a drop back under 93. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil had a sharp move up based on the Middle East configuration. We're looking at up 237 to 77.10 after coming down really sharply. Uh, where it lands up over the next two days is going to be important because it's just a bounce so far. We'll see if that holds. So I'm handing you over to uh, Tommy. It should be a great show. Don't forget Tom's uh, Tom O'Brien's webinar Friday, a live webinar. It should be fantastic. Yes, and no one in a while. That should be very exciting. Have a great day and um, good luck with the session after the Fed.